This is my current character workflow for games in Unreal Engine. So we'll first select the third person template for this. Uh, I'll be keeping all the settings to default. Select the location for your project as well as a name. I will move all the starter content to this third person asset folder. Now we'll head to Mixima to get all our animations. You can adjust the parameters for the animation, uh, I'll be keeping it to default. Download the first animation with skin and keep the keyframe reduction to uniform. For the rest of the animations of the character, select without skin. Place all your animations together in a location. In Unreal Engine, create an asset folder. Here you can create a folder for your character. In my case, it's the Y bot. I'll also be making animation and material folders so that everything is clean. So we'll import the animation with skin and uh, click on import animation. So we only want to take a look at the skeleton. So if you open the skeleton, you'll see that in the hierarchy, the first bone is the hips and there is no root bone for this skeleton. None of the animations on Mixemo have a root bone which can create issues in Unreal Engine for uh, game workflows. Import the root motion animation uh, in your project and uh, you'll see the issue that arises. If you go in the asset details and select enable root motion you will see that the character will be floating in the air. So we'll first need to fix the animation and to do that we'll have to modify the skeleton of all the animations to include a root bone. Now I'll just delete all these animations because we can't use them as they are. Go to GitHub and download Mixamo Converter. I have included the link in the description. As you see, this is a Blender plugin that converts Mixamo animations to work in Unreal Engine with a root motion by adding a root bone to the skeleton. So once you download the file, do not unzip it. Uh, in Blender, we'll go to our preferences, go to install and select the downloaded zip file. Uh, install add-on uh, I won't I already have this add-on so I won't be installing it again now we'll be able to see this add-on in the community tab if you search for Mixamo you will see a uh, Mixamo converter you can find this add-on in the right UI panel under the Mixamo tab if you have older versions of Blender, you'll have to check out another fork of this tool uh, to get the correct compatible version. Create a separate folder for all your converted animations. You can create it in the same location as uh, the animations. So 
in blender you can see all the settings that you have for this add-on you can test out these settings if you want or you can uh, just follow along with my settings uh, if your animation has heavy uh, hip motion like rolling uh, don't enable transfer rotation but in all, for all the rest of the animations just enable this option for the hip name we'll put the name of your hip bone which in our case is hips if you're using the unreal engine mannequin you can select the use unreal engine bone names option over here but uh, as we are using the mixamo character we won't be selecting that select remove name places apply rotation for the input path we'll be selecting the folder that contains all our animations and for the output path we'll select the converted folder batch convert this can take a little while so after it's completed you will see in your converted folder you will have all your animations we'll first import the animation that has skin this time tick the import animation as well and click import Uh, move everything in their respective folders so that the project stays clean fix up redirectors now if you check the skeleton structure you will see that there's a root bone at the top of the hierarchy and you'll see that it's at the base of your character You can compare it with the Unreal Engine mannequin which also has a root bone. Import the rest of the animations in your project. Disable import mesh because these animations have no skin and in the skeleton select the skeleton for your character in my case it's the breathing idol skeleton from the first animation now we have all our animations in the project and if you check out the skeleton structure they all have a root bone now now if you check the sliding animation or any other root motion animation you have you will see that because of the root bone it now works perfectly as it should go in the asset details and enable the root motion for this as you see it works